Hey everybody, Steven here, playing Satisfactory in Early Access here, and I am in the experimental builds, uh, doing a playthrough of this. Out of the games people suggested, this was actually kind of on uh, my own personal list, so I wanted to jump into this. I did test out really quick just to make sure everything was right before I started this, so I hopped into a, a game really quick, just looking at the settings and things like that, and I can tell you this game looks really, really good. So... Um, you actually get to play with other people, which is cool. We can skip the intro if we want. Um, with this, it's kind of like the first time, first time, and then it gets harder and then harder. Um, but let's do this. Uh, I have no idea when. We'll just say first try. <laughs> private. Yep, yeah, private. All right, so let's start this out. Um, this has been in early access for a while now from what I've seen, but it's not on Steam yet. It doesn't hit Steam until, is it June or July? So doing this on the uh, Epic Game Store. But visually it looks really good for being in early access. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneer has cool. three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart yeah, for early access, this is high quality. To provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. That looks cool. I've only seen a couple videos. I tried to, well, the trailers for this, but I've tried to stay uh, away from playthroughs or anything like that so I could have my own reaction to it. Oh, that's cool. This would look cool in VR. Uh oh. Is it going to be a crash? Nope. That looks pretty awesome. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. All right, here we go. Oh, it's got a sticker on there. Okay. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. Akicha? Whoa. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. What is that thing? You are the third what is that? sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. It looks like a plum with legs. Objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. You pick that up. E. There you go. First objective. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base for oh, now goodness. referred to as the hub. No. What? Fix it incorporated. Run, dude. Cost effective and efficient. We do not Already? Waste. All right, what'd you say? <laughs> Press F to dismantle mode. Oh, you're going to bear with me on this too, guys, because learning new keys on this stuff is rough sometimes. Hold left. There you go. Close Q. All important fix-it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. 
Picking up stuff. All tutorials, messages, and emails will be saved in the codex. Press X to open the codex. Tutorial. Onboard, open the codex. Already did that. Dismantle. The drop pot did that. We already looked at that. Mark all is red. Recipes. Oh, I want that thing. Xeno, Xeno Zapper. Uh, how do I look at my inventory? Second objective. Oh. Please ensure you have your fixit incorporated. Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. No. Oh. According to Fixit regulations, every that? pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Whoa, what? Emotes. There you go. Uh, press tab to open inventory. There we go. Uh, hand. Hand body character. Can you go into third person in this? Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Press V to scan for iron nodes. Press... Whoa! Whoa, what is that? That looks cool. That's a flying stingray. That looks like a kite, actually. <laughs> like a stingray looks like. Whoa, run! Dude. Dude, whoa. Holy smokes. Whoa. That looks cool. Whatever that is. This little fin thing's cool. <laughs> Alright, what is that? Alien carapace. Alright. Uh, there it is. I wonder how big this map is. I'm going to have to actually look into console commands and things like that if you can do them, like on uh, Subnautica Below Zero. Alright. Press, press and hold E to pick up iron ore. Nice. You have to hold it. Build the hub. Note: To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Okay. Caution: Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Uh What is that? That looks like a snail. Alright, um... There's that flying kite again. Oh, and a moon. Or another planet, maybe? Because it wouldn't be that close if it was a planet. I don't know. Uh... Press... Q... The hub. Oh! Player's in the way. Okay, what is going on? No, no! Congratulations! Press this dude up. Ha! Manual craft bench. Hub Done. Feature, hub terminal. I don't know if that's where I wanted that, but Complete all right. Hub upgrade one. Note: the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Complete hub milestones. Uh, tier one hub upgrade one inventory slots, portable miner. We don't have craft bench. The detail on this looks really, really good. Oh, iron ingots. Oh, there we go. Cost three. 25-1. You have to hold it? 
You gotta hold it down the whole time. That's kind of a bummer. You can't just set it and forget it. Alright. Done. What'd this say? Select tier. Upgrades. Workshop station. I need bars, bars. I need bars for all of these. Can we set portal? Portable miner. Let's do that. Iron r rods. Uh, let's do all of them. We can just go mine more if we need to. Unless it ends up needing it and I was way wrong. Uh. Whoa. New buildings, new equipment, player upgrade. Congratulations. You have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, Whoa. personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Uh, note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Station. How do I make that? Portal. Workshop station. Used to manually craft equipment. Uh, I don't have any more ore to make that. My assumption is that's where it's made. It even cracks. That's pretty cool. Looks low res up close though with that. Um, which I thought I set everything in the one trial that I did. Ugh, that's why. I even set it. Ninety ninety. That looks better. Uh, I'm still kinda messy up up close. That almost looks too sharp. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the equipment workshop is used to craft equipment like the portable miner. Yeah, there we go. Um, iron ingots. Yeah, I don't think I'm a fan of the holding down and waiting here. I wonder if that gets automated later as you upgrade stuff. Add to to-do list. I can't even remember how much of stuff we needed. Let's just make some of these. Uh, let's try that. And then double check. Q. Workshop. Whoa. How close can we get it? Right there. I don't know if that, that may be horrible placement. <laughs> I guess I wanted it close. It doesn't attach. It's weird. Well, it's close though. Portable miner. Oh. Do I have enough? Sure. Whoa. I don't want all that. Oh. Committed. Done. Okay. We got two of them. Let's check it out. Uh. Node by pressing left and equipped. Uh, press and hold E. Or oh, what? That looks cool. Oh, I thought it had little eyes for a second. Just the two kind of looks like it. That's cool. Press E to open portable miner. Oh, whoa. One per second? How long does that last? I wonder how much it's here. It didn't tell me. 
if she won't know. Alright, well, let's just grab some. Whoa. Okay. I'm out. We have more. Let's see what the next thing is. Whoa. Tier 1, upgrade 2. I need 20 and 10. Alright. Which each of those cost a set amount. So, one ingot from one ore. And then iron plate is two for one. I think I only need a ten. And then iron rods, one for one. Uh, call that good. I think that was all I needed. <laughs> Tier one upgrade. Boom. 20, 10. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, it builds this platform out. Congratulations. What? You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. That's cool. Seventh objective complete hub upgrade three. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, That's buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, Wire. the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Copper ingot, cable, cable, copper ingot, where's copper? Hold V, hold V. There we go, copper ore. Where is it at? All the way over there. Uh, can I do that again? Whoop, whoop. Uh, all right, guess we're going up. Whoa, I hear that thing. But I can't see. Biomass burner. So I'm assuming that's where you put the shrubs and all that, right? Uh, it's getting dark too. Leaves. I just noticed the uh, health down there in the corner. Such a weird creature. Um, looks like it's draining. Well, I'm assuming that you have to eat. Where was that? Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks cool. Alright, um... Nope. And... What's going on? Whoa, 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 dude. Come get some. Hit you with that guy. Not cool. It's like a deep purple on that. That looks pretty cool. I mean, visually the game is impressive already, and it's only going to get better. Alright, I don't even know how much copper we needed. 30 seems like a lot though, right? And I can just come back. Uh, does this guy take fall damage? Not really. Although I did take damage on whatever that thing is ramming me. 
which I haven't seen names highlighted. I don't know if you get like a scanner to understand what the life forms are. Whoa, what's that? Burner. Uh. Buy my smart effects. Use for it. Input. Turn on. Um, did work. What that? No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. All right, that don't work either. Uh, that seemed like it would have more. All right, I'll come back to that. What? <laughs> there that thing is. That's way closer. It's got like little ones around it too. That's crazy looking. And I don't know what that green stuff is, but doesn't look like it's good for me. All right, hold V, smelter. Does it have to be attached to this? Or I guess I can't afford it yet, so it doesn't matter. Copper ingot. There we go. Alright, we'll get this copper, we'll get this wire going. I think that's what it said. That should be enough, right? How much cable is used from the copper? That makes sense. What does this need? Oh, I got enough. No, missing iron rods. <laughs> Never I thought I did. Uh, And I only have three. So I need to go back and get the iron from this thing. Oh, those sparkle too. Is it done? Oh, there it goes. I just want to know how much life that thing has in it before like all that iron's gone. That's a lot of iron. All right. Uh, I guess I don't need to do that just yet. Wait, can I change that? No. Add to to-do list. Nope. All right. Shortcuts down there in the bottom. Oh. Oh, that would help. Q, F, B. B is flashlight. V, a scan, X, mail, tab, inventory. Okay, I'm good on that. Okay. So we should... Whoa, not what I wanted to do. Q. Smelter. All right, I'm gonna move the smelter because I don't want that close. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Does that connect to something? Err. Let's go in that way. I'm lost with how that works. Will it connect to anything? So it looks like a like how you would pass through but it won't it doesn't connect connect oh, all right well I'm just gonna put it over here I guess I'll learn later if it does that and I'm just gonna put it like that and figure smelter
production. What does it... Wait, what does it make? Is it just going to do more of it? It's not a power. Okay. Oh, I have to create a biomass generator. Constructor, reinforced iron. Okay. Power there. Wait. Power line. Can be automated to, by feeding ore into it with a conveyor belt connected to the input. The produced ingots can be automatically extracted by connecting a conveyor belt to the output. Okay. So it'll automatically smelt so I don't have to do this thing over here. But yeah, I'm probably doing horrible placement on all this stuff then. Um, and then power, we need cable. Okay. Uh, cable. Okay, I have six cable. Then what? Oh. There it is. There it is. Uh... Okay, um, biomass burner located at the hub generates power consuming biomass, oops, nope, okay, there we go. Uh, then what? Even though I guess I just don't need to power that yet. I need copper and the iron. Okay, let's go grab that copper. That's going up top. Oh, and I knew it. Don't like you, dude. I don't like you, dude. Boom. I'm gonna grab a bunch of leaves because I'll need that later. Uh, was it B? There we go. Dude has some ups though. We give him that. There's that thing. Nope. Whoa. 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 Holy smokes. Thing is fast. Don't think so, homeboy. All right. Grab all. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Sun rising finally. Oh, nope. Yeah, well. Oh, you don't need the rest. Okay, so. Let's try this, see if it pumps out that copper. There it is. Alright, so we got that going. So what I want to get to for the end of this video is I want to get this going. Because I'm going to get this other stuff. the hub. I wonder how many hub, hub upgrades are in each of these though. So I need 20, 20, all right. Let's go. Is that it? So I need to go grab more of that, right? No, I have enough. 
Well, that's doing its thing over there. I can do this. I can see where if you had a group of people doing this together, you could streamline and speed a lot of this up. I'm also wondering what the other worlds where it's, you're supposed to be... Um, like, a more advanced player, what that would be like. I don't know if you're going to deal with environmental fractures. Uh, factors with that and more enemies and things like that all right uh, I have that I just need my copper let's check this thing out boom there it is uh, there we go I wonder if this gets automated too I'm assuming it is the whole thing is a production thing that goes on and that was a crazy thing in the trailers I was looking at where you have a whole conveyor belt system set up and a bunch of stuff going on. I'm wondering how many worlds they'll make too, because I just saw that we had the four. I don't even know how big this world is. That's where I'd like to load, know some console commands to just kind of see how big the maps are and things like that. Alright, I have enough. I know I do. Alright, here we go. Ready? Uh, boom. 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 There it is. Alright, where is it at? What changed? Oh, nice. This was empty. We got a toilet now. You have unlocked scanner feature. A kitchen. New buildings a bed. Recipes, which can be found in the build menu and oh, bench look at that. You got a computer. Eighth objective. Complete hub upgrade for note. Use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. That's cool. Power poles. Uh boom. Okay. Whoa, the front of this changed. Um, iron plate, screws, reinforced iron plate. What is that? I don't even know what that thing is. Concrete. How do you make concrete? Made for stable foundations. Huh. Let's see if this has anything new. Nope. thing. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this video at that because I don't want these to be like two hours long. This is just the start and so far I'm actually impressed. And the gameplay, I mean, I'm, like I said, just scratching the surface, but it's going to be fun. I'm excited about this. Uh, I ended up getting this on sale, by the way, something I didn't mention because I had like a $10 coupon through Epic Stores for this month or something like that. So this game was $16. Bucks. Um, let's check the crafting though before we leave. Power poles. Okay, so we're going to have to map this thing out. And then we have a constructor. Can be automated by feeding parts into it with the conveyor belts. Where are the conveyor belts? The strategy behind trying to get all these things connected too is what I'm interested in actually seeing. I know that's gonna take some work on my end but uh, that's this is just the first part uh, this will be part one here we'll jump back in um, what is that thing the fairies <laughs> we'll jump back in here in the uh, next couple days but that is gonna be it for this video if you like the video hit the like button for me if you want to continue to follow along with all my content hit the subscribe button for me thanks so much for watching